Well, welcome, welcome, everybody. Before we jump into anything else, I got a call the other day from Lynn that we take town money. A requirement of getting town money is we have to have minutes. We've been avoiding that ever since Jen moved to Deerfield. Um, so before we go any farther, I'm going to beg for somebody to take notes for tonight and then send them to me when you're when you have them, please. If this is recorded, why can't you just print it? it it's recorded to the cloud, so um, I Joyce can probably chime in on that. Yeah, yeah. Meeting minutes are not the same thing as a transcript of the meeting. So it, it really doesn't have to be much. It, it technically, you say when the meeting opened, who was present, what time it, it closed, if there were any votes or decisions, those have to be recorded. And everything else is icing on the cake. It could be, we discussed the schedule for the week of June 20th, 2022. Can, I mean, it doesn't have to be detailed. You don't have to say he said, she said. It's really just got to be like what kind of things we talked about. And um, the most important thing is if there are decisions made, that should be recorded. So is anybody willing to, to volunteer to do that for tonight? Please. For tonight. <laughs> it's Thank not something you. I particularly, but I'll do but it. That's that's fine, but if you can do it for tonight, that that buys us another. No one. promises how good they'll be. <laughs> no criticism of how good they are. Lynn said we have to have them. She didn't say they had to be good. <laughs> um, and that brings me to the next part of this: is on an ongoing basis, I can either beg every month, or one suggestion that Lynn had was to recruit somebody to join the committee specifically for the purposes of taking minutes. So if there's anybody at all, and this could be you know, a high school student, um, you know, so just anybody you know in the community who would be willing to you know, give up an hour a month and just take notes, that, that saves us from, having, from begging each month. So think, think about that. I don't want to spend a lot of time on that now because thank you, Brenda. We you know, can, as the saying goes, we can jump off that bridge when we come to it. The other thing that I wanted to mention along the same lines, Keith and I were talking a few minutes ago. And when we first started this committee, we had to submit to the town a list of members of the committee and at least some of us had to get sworn in as members of a town committee. It's been you know, a few years since we've done that. Many of you are faces that were not on it initially. I just wanted to mention that between now and our next meeting, I will talk to Lynn and find out, is that something that we need to update? If so, you may be hearing from either me or Lynn. Um, to get yourself official because you're voting on spending town money. So does anybody object to being officially listed? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like you've got any liability or anything, but there has to be sworn people voting on stuff. Okay. Moving on to the parade, more fun stuff. John. Good evening. Oh, we're gonna have a parade next week, right? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm not done. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, we have, as of today, I think, I believe we have 42 units registered <gasps> to be in the parade. That is awesome. Uh, I'm so excited. With that many units, will we have any spectators to watch? <laughs> not my job. I've been there before, Fred. Yeah, he's not on the spectator committee. 
I'm not on that committee. John, can I add one more? Sure. Send me an email. John send me just an email. Froze, I think. Send me an I email. Freeze? Okay. Oh, who is? Okay. Yeah, it's just Ray in his car with mom. Yep. Just send me an email, and I'll and okay, I'll send you the rules. It. And I'll send you the rules, Brenda. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. It's that hard to do. Um. <laughs> Another update that I have for this is I have FCAT is going to record and live stream our parade. And they're going to do it from the new balcony at the Whateley Inn. Oh, nice. That's a great place. Um, and while we're on that subject, I don't I have a clue what this committee or the record keeping people for the town of Whaley want to do to record any of this stuff that we're doing. But I think we need a committee or somebody to rec record the happenings of the 250th celebration. And we got like 10 days or 12 days left to, to uh, get this started. So I don't know what we want to do. Anybody have any thoughts on that? <clears throat> I mean, we'll have the video from FCAT, but I, for example, I think it would be great to have you know, a picture of each vehicle for the records. Does anybody know anybody who? Um, well, I, really, I, really did, I really didn't mean it, the pictures because I'm sure that you could get the film from FCAT and freeze them and get, it, get all of that recording oh, okay. that way. But what I'm saying is you know, next year, it, when and if we're going to have another parade, if we have a fireman's muster, if we have all our concerts, we're having any of this other stuff that we're going to do. To me, you should have one committee that's recording it or documenting the, the, stat, the statistics of that for 50 years down the road. Mm -hmm. And it won't be me. Is yet. there any way we can tie this with the Historical Society? Because it sounds like something that will end up devolving to historical society eventually. This archive. I'll, speak and, I'll speak up and say it really needs to be, as John said, a separate committee. Someone that's really um, tuned into all of the things. I'm thinking of that book that we call Wonderful Waitley. It has the pictures of the things that were taking place. And those pictures were taken by a committee person. The historical society really doesn't have a photographer that I, unless uh, I shouldn't, I'm only speaking now as the past president, so maybe I should um, let Neil Abram, as the new president, he might put that on, but I, um, I'm- or, or know anybody who would be interested in doing it. Or if you've got an email list, blast an email to, your, to the membership and see if there's anyone interested in doing that. What membership? But, but, but I think- Historical uh, Society. I think really it has to go beyond the historical society because you're going to everything covered and. Uh, well, I, yeah, but I'm, I'm just thinking that a person who would, that historical society would have someone who would be interested in taking it on and possible. then can recruit a committee or assistance after that. But you we know, could also put a call out on social media too, just yeah. like that are yeah. producing the 250 stuff. Yeah, yeah, producing I, an I archive agree. is something historical society members might be interested in doing. Um, let, let's yeah, you know, let's do both, Adelia. If you want, right. can talk to Neil and Ashley. If you can put something on social media, I also, um, I mean, it's it's too late for the special scoop that's going out later this week because that's already been printed. <laughs> but we were also going to have Lynn do a townwide call, and we can mention it there too. Um, to see if anybody's interested. Okay. Another suggestion would be to reach out to Chris Collins, perhaps one of the um, high school students that would be already pretty involved in social media that might be living in Waitley that's partaking in F working at FCAT would like to take on some more role in regards to filming and taking pictures. Yeah, I was going to say anyone who might be an amateur photographer, this could be a way for them to bolster their portfolio 
to be involved in a project like this. So that could be a good angle. Hi, Joyce. Um, if um, we were to ask FCAT to recruit somebody, they might be able to do it, but they might need to pay them. Um, would, would, would we be willing to put a little bit of money on the line for a, a student photographer? I think that's something we would have to vote on. Yeah. Um, do you want to make a motion? Um, oh, I wouldn't know what question? dollar amount to put on it, honestly. So it might be that check, this is might be something to think of for another, the next meeting. Okay, um, okay. I think we'll probably be able to come up with something for the parade, but it might be something to think about for our, our other events that are coming up in 2022 to, um, to hire somebody who's willing to do it for a relatively low fee. Yeah. Well, on top of that, Joyce, I think they, all, they need to have not only pictures, but they need to have a documentation of when it, you know, they have to have a better understanding of the English language so that they can explain it so they can understand it 50 years from now. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, you mean better English than, than you and me. Than me, yeah. <laughs> right. Together? <laughs> Anything else on the parade, John? Um, I think you got it. Awesome. Um, okay, door decorating. Anything, Ashley, anything that you have on that? Um, I don't have any in particular updates. We're going to be um, starting just some reminders now that we're like two within the two week window for that mm -hmm. and for the parade um, across our social media channels. And um, obviously there'll be a note in the special edition of the scoop also encouraging yeah. folks to do that. So yeah, but it's in the scoop. It's going to be in the script for Lynn. I also emailed the principal of the elementary school about it. I never heard anything back. So I don't know. They just went back in person today, like everyone. So it's probably- Yeah, I didn't want to bug her. She kind of has her hands full. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Special select board meeting. Um, I would hope that most of you can sit in on that. It's, it'll be Zoom. And that's on Monday, the 26th at 6 p.m. where different uh, represent representatives of different angles of the town will be talking about the past, the present, the future. There's also gonna be a I already have a citation from the Senate. We've requested a proclamation from the governor. I don't know if there's gonna be another citation or if this one includes both houses. Um, and then we're going at the end, they've asked me to talk about our plans for 2022. So I would ask, you know, ask people if you can to listen in on that. It should be probably about the first 20 minutes of the meeting or so. Um, there probably won't be a lot of people giving a lot of talks about, um, you know, Waitley past and present. That was initially oh. in what um, Fred wanted to do, but we kind of have lots of business to take care of. So oh, okay. um, I think it might be shorter than what you just described, but I think okay. essentially that's it. And, and so come for the first 20 minutes, but go ahead and stay because the fun just starts after that. <laughs> oh, oh, I've heard. <laughs> Excellent. Moving on, the lights display. Adelia, has that moved from you to the group Yes. Yeah, right. I can. Um, actually, if Billy wants to unmute, I have you seen it out? Is he displaying it? I have not seen it. Who's got it? Gary across the street. I brought it to him on April 3rd. So he he hasn't put it out yet. Zach just went out the window to look again, but well, he's had it all going on a week and a half. And I, oh. he asked he asked how long he would have it, and I told him one month is what we had more or less discussed. So um if he's got it, I missed it and I live right across the street. <laughs> yeah, but you're always sleeping when it's dark. That's true. Yes, I do that a lot. <laughs> well, you got to stop that. I gave that up years ago. You see anything, Zach? I don't okay. know. Well, I brought it to him on April 3rd. 
Okay, I don't know if somebody can follow up with them to find out what's going on with that. And then if once it is up, if you can let Ashley know, because Ashley, you were going to put that on social media. Uh, Fred and I ran into the builders a couple weeks ago. We were just out for a walk and they would be interested in hosting it. Now, you know, and that, that can be after the group goes. Ashley and I were talking about this the other day and the light display is most effective at night, obviously. As we're moving into the summer, in this town, there's not a lot of traffic when it is dark, it gets dark late because we're relatively far north. There's not a lot of traffic. And so Ashley and I were talking about sort of putting the lights on hiatus from May till October or thereabouts. I'm, don't go by me for specific dates. But since we don't have a long line of people wanting to host it, to preserve it until it can be more impactful when it gets light earlier, when it gets dark earlier and we can use it into next fall and winter. What do people think of that? I, I certainly don't have an issue with that. I mean, I guess it all depends on how many more residents come forward wanting to, to have it in, for a while at their house. Um, if we don't get any more um, request then yeah we could do that we could put it put it away for a while i'm gonna have... sorry sorry so i was gonna say i'm gonna continue to try to plug it on social media and i created a very basic um just a google like form spreadsheet where people can sign up that actually want to do it so we can have a running record and maybe solicit people that way and we also put it in the scoop yeah so we can see what we get. We don't have to make this decision tonight, but I'm just thinking as we get more into summer, we may want to mm -hmm. scale back. Keith, do we have a place that it can be stored if we're not using it until sure. the fall again? Sure, that's not a problem. Okay. So let's revisit this next month when we see, we've got the group goes and then if, we can either give it to the builders at that point, or if we want to, we've wait, asked the builders to wait until fall. They didn't have a timeline. They were just interested in hosting it. So let's see what kind of interest we get over the next month from the promoting that we're doing, and we can make a decision at that point. Does that work for people? I take that as a yes. Sure. Okay, next item is the gift to the town. And all that I wanted to say on that is I am participating in the library board meeting tomorrow night. Um, it is, uh, I checked with Brian and it is up to the library board to decide what happens to the land. It's not a town <clears throat> decision, it's the library decision. So I'm presenting both the idea of a granite bench or a stone bench and the idea of the display of the view from behind the library. Um, and I will let you know next month if they are willing to let us do one or both of those on their property. Um, is there anything pressing regarding June 2022 that we need to discuss at this point? I take that as a no. Okay. Um, uh, other... Actually, actually yeah. it looks like uh, the skydivers that I talked to about doing a demo jump, um, a couple of have gone over 70 and one of them 75. And they're thinking about starting, making this their last summer of, uh, of doing a demo. Oh, okay. So maybe we should look more at the balloon rides than, uh, than a skydive. Okay, okay, good, that's good to know. I mean, I suppose they are entitled. It sounded, it sounded cool, but they are entitled to retire. 
other business. And I'm going to turn that one over to Keith because he had a conversation with Hatfield. Yes, um, I had spoken to the chairman of the Hatfield 350th and just more or less following up our conversation we've had in, in times past over the, the birthday cake that the town of Hatfield has. Um, originally, when this whole, before COVID, those that weren't involved on our committee, I'll just go over it real quick. The town of Hatfield has that large birthday cake in the center of Hatfield that they um, acquired from, ha um, from Westfield the year before. And they brought it to Hatfield, had a new um, cake topper made and have it on display for the last a year in Hatfield. And originally they were going to look to, um, to sell it to us if we chose to purchase it. And that way they would recoup the money that they had invested into it and just sort of pass it on down the line. Um, after COVID came about and we had told them that we didn't really have the um, funding available, they still wanted to help us out. And they had offered that they would more or less put it on loan to the town of Waitley um, and we wouldn't have to purchase it. And then when we're done with it, they'd be glad to, to sell it to the next community. At this point in time, they have um, actually three towns that are interested in purchasing it at a later date. Two of them, one is Deerfield and Northfield, which are, they both are in 2023. And then already the town of Leverett has contacted them wanting to purchase it and their celebration is in 2024. So um, they're not worried about at the moment, there's nobody else at, had asked for it for, for 2022 that, or 21 that we're in now. So um, that's why they're still willing to um, let us loan it. Um, in conversations I've had with John was to put it at the, be, like between the fire station and the highway department. We have that area there. I have spoken to um, the property owner across the street, Mark Bouchier, just wanted to get his opinion before it shows up. And it, um, he's he, I didn't want him to be against it and complaining. And he's on board. He certainly um, thought it was a great idea, too. So um, unless we come up with some other location, that's a location that we, we can put it. As far as moving it, the contractors that had done the moving for the town of Hatfield, I had talk and talked to them in the past, and I think I can pretty much get um, donation of time and effort to move it. Same thing with the electrician that had done the work in Hatfield. Um, I can run it by him again, but I believe I can get that stuff donated. So we can put it in Waitley and have it on display for virtually no cost. The one thing that we would need to do is um, have our own um, topper. And the the when I had spoken to Bobby Betzold from Hatfield, he suggested that we go back to Pacific Printing, who did theirs, and they would make a, a banner that would go on it, so it would say Waitley instead of Hatfield. So, um, I, you know, I would suggest that as long as the committee is willing that we move forward with it and give Hatfield at least an answer. Um, and then maybe by the next meeting, I can confirm um, with the contractors that would be necessary to get it moved and also to get the, the electrical work done just to make sure um, we know exactly what, if any cost there would be. Any idea what a topper would cost? Um, John, do you have an idea what you were spending for the banner, one banner? Oh, eight foot, an eight foot banner is two feet wide is just over a hundred dollars. Oh, so okay. We're done. Le less than that probably. Okay. Is there I, any- I have a motion that we uh, officially ask Hatfield uh, to give it to us for next year. Do we have a second? Second. Annette. Any discussion before we vote? My one question is, is there, if we are, if they are loaning it to us, is there any 
liability issue that we need to do insurance or anything? I can I can get that you know you know we can make it contingent on next coming back next month but I'd like to at least give them an answer that we definitely want it and, and maybe report back next at our next meeting for I can I can get that answer by next meeting. Okay. I think yeah I think we can, we can vote contingent on yeah that we don't run into those sorts you know an issue with that sort of thing you know insurance. Um, I don't know if they it's more for their protection. Is there anything that they want us to have for that? What is the cost of it if we had purchased it? I, you know, again, I, I would have to go back. I don't have that number in front of me, Brenda. I, I just remember they were more or less looking to pass it on to us for what they had paid for it. What the only reason. I'm asking is if it did get damaged, you know, can we be, you know, without insurance, you know, how much would it? Yeah, Keith, if I remember, it was several thousand dollars. It was. Oh, okay. 3,000 or something like that. Yeah, I'm remembering something like that too. Okay. So that's just something we would have to check with them to find out what they, how they would want to handle in you know, that kind of liability. Any other discussion? We would have this from when to when, Keith. Again, we that wasn't really discussed other than more, more so that he was looking for an answer because they need it. They've got it. It's got to be moved in about two months. Yeah, I think they're wrapping up um, the end of May. Right. So, yeah. So I think if I'm hearing what people are saying, what we are voting on is expressing to Hatfield that we are interested in it, contingent on working out for liability and defining timeline. Is that fair? Yep. And that you've got, that would live here from the time that they need to move it until through our celebration next year. Right, and it's out, you said that the next town wants it in 2023? 22. Well, somewhere in that time frame, they may want it early, you know, we, we would have to see, presumably it's gonna be either Northfield or Deerfield. They both shown interest. But that's not our problem, that's Hatfields. Right. Correct. Okay. <clears throat> Good, okay, let's do a roll call. Adelia? Yeah. Fred? Yes. Keith? Yes. Bill? Yeah. Zach? Yep. Brenda? Yes. Chris? Yes. Don? Yes. John? Yes. <laughs> Ashley? Don and John both. <laughs> Ashley? Yes. Joyce? And me, yes. Yeah. I almost forgot that I'm supposed to vote too. Excellent. So Keith, you'll get back to Bobby. I'll report Any, back. Perfect. Any other business? I, I, let me let me ask a clarification because I was kind of confused after our last meeting. Um, are we having a parade next year? I don't think we decided. Okay. Okay. Do we, do we need to decide well, that yet? You, somebody asked me to call the Shriners, so I did that. And we, the Shriners are available that day next year. Okay, so, that was one of the questions. Right. So, yeah. and I, so I guess, are we back to that or not? Is it time to move forward or? I, we I, can I, have that conversation. I think we were talking about that for next June, right? June, 2022. Right. I, I thought that we were like more or less saying, yeah, let's do the real parade then because this, Sort of this virtual parade isn't really costing us any money, <clears throat> right? Uh, uh, yeah, but I don't okay. know that we took a, a voice vote on it or anything because it was part of our original plan that we were just kind of forwarding to the next year. Well, as as I left the last meeting, I was under the impression that we, there was no money attached to it next year, so we didn't know whether we were going to have it, and 
Oh, okay. so right. I'm still up in the air, and I don't, I don't, I don't know the answer. So yeah, I, so, I can, think you're on so too. Let, let, let me frame the discussion, if I may, which is originally we had planned on having a large parade, but we and and we had planned on being able to raise much more money. Um, given what's happened in the past year, we you know we've lost twenty thousand of what we anticipated from the town. We've lost ten thousand that we had anticipated from the state. We don't know yet how successful the local fundraising will be. Fred and I were talking about this before, and the thinking is as more people get vaccinated, we can start, you know, so over the next month or so, we can start, the, the fundraising committee can start doing visits to local businesses and getting a sense of interest for that. So we don't, you know, we know that our budget is probably down at least 30,000 from what we had originally anticipated between the town and the state funds. We don't know what's gonna happen with business fundraising. So that was why we were revisiting the idea of the parade given the reduced budget and the expense of a parade. The parade is the single most expensive item in the budget of do we still want to use what money we have for that. At, at this point, we have 40,000, I'm looking to Fred, we've got 40,000 yep. from the town. Right. And we anticipate some in the way of local fundraising. Um, but we- Yeah, I mean, the local fundraising yeah. might turn out to be very good, it might not. We just not having been able to do it and not having a firm schedule of events to peg to fundraising, we just don't know. It's just an unknown at this point. The what? original budget for the parade was in the ballpark of about 30,000. A big ticket item of that though was the mummers, which John, you said we could walk away from. So that puts us at like 23, 22, I forget. Yeah, it was about 30, 35 in the original budget. Okay, Why so clear. Request back on the warrant again for this year, the one we took off last year. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Why are we not putting the $20,000 request back on the warrant for this year, the one we pulled off last year in the middle of the crisis? We, we can. I mean, is the town in a position to visit that? You, you Fred, you're on the finance committee. How um, is the budget the, in general? The meeting where we will be looking at that is on the 20th, where we're looking at back capital on. items and one shots like this. So it, it may just be a matter at that point of how the revenues have come in for the past year and what the state funding looks like. You know, all, all these things that have been unknowns are starting to get a little clearer. I think there's no better time to ask people in town to vote for this than when we're finally coming out of the, off the dark side of this thing and coming back into daylight. I think that's the perfect time to go back to town meeting and said, the party's back on, let's pony up. Yeah, from what I hear, and I think jo Joyce, if you'll, yeah. uh, well, Joyce has been in those meetings too. It sounds like the, from Lynn, like the revenues have been solid for the year. They have not been down tremendously and that state funding doesn't sound like it's going to be, have take a big hit overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in kind of the two categories where we are most concerned is our Chapter 70 and our um, aid to cities and towns. Um, like the schools will not have big increases this year either. Um, so yeah, but <coughs> we could last year, last year we were very back. worried about big cuts yeah. and you know, bad tax collections and all that, those didn't come to pass. Yes, yeah. So um, we should we be should okay also, asking for another 20 this year. We should also, um, I, I would put this to the select board perhaps and is to actually put a formal request into the state for that $10,000 tourist money, tourism money that maybe, you know, we all know last year, Natalie Blay and Joe Comerford had said that we weren't going to be able to get it. Well, that was last year. 
if we don't ask again for this coming fiscal year, we won't we won't know unless we ask. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. We should ask. I think last year at this time, everyone was cutting back on their requests, not knowing what the coming year was going to look like. Yeah, I can certainly so. go back to Joe and Natalie and see if they feel we can ask the state again. Um, should we vote on asking the finance committee to put it in the budget, to put 20,000 in the budget for town meeting? All right. That motion. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Before you vote, John, do I, I, I'm asking if that's the motion and then I, I that was the motion. The motion. I the motion made that is earlier. seconded. I'm sorry, so we have a motion and a second? Yes. Okay. Um, Joyce. Yes. Ashley. Yes. Chris. Yes. Don. Yes. John. Yes. Keith. Yes. Bill. Yeah. Zach. Yep. Brenda. Yes. Adelia. Was that a yes, Adelia? Oh, yes. Yes. You're, we're not hearing you, but your mouth looks like it's saying yes. Give to a thumbs up if you can, just to confirm I'm hearing you right. Yeah. Okay, Fred. He said yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what the rules are when you have to do this roll call thing, but if you can't hear the person, <laughs> does lip reading count? And I vote yes. So Fred, can we authorize you to bring it to the finance committee? I, I will send, Brian a note and he will get it on into the okay. proposals. You you know you know what the approach is and I, I will reach out to Joe and Natalie and see if it can go back into the state budget. Uh, at which point, John, I know we didn't answer your question on a parade, but if we get answers to those, if we get affirmatives on those two questions, that's a that helps us in answering your question about the parade. Because that you know. Yeah. contribute significantly to our budget. Yeah, can we reserve the Shriners and not pay them for another month or two? Well, I don't think you have to pay the Shriners until they show up. But Oh, no deposit or anything like that? I don't I don't know the answer to that. Okay. Cuz it may yeah, it might be that if they're going to fill up then we might want to say yes to them and and book them and then if we know in a month or so that this we're not going to be able to pull the money together, then we say we can cancel and they could easily fill it in if they've got a year's notice. I will call them tomorrow. Thank you. And we do have the fireworks nailed down and secure? Yes, the fireworks has been booked. We, uh, Sarah reserved that. Yes. Any other business? John, is there anything at all that you need for the parade? Do you I need I people? I think I brought it up, Joe. Uh, I says Brian. Sue. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm Brian today. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, do you need people to be anywhere? Not that we can all be together, but I like don't know. To start directing traffic any place. No, they got the guys with blue to do that. Okay. okay. Well. Better than it'll, it'll just it'll just be a, a, an effort to organize them and line them up when they come in. But uh, it still was from the beginning. It was my process that we would have. We have the leader of the parade. We have the VFW, and then we'll have a fire truck, and maybe the fire truck will be in first. We have to keep discussing that, and then as you show up, you'll fall in the line. And okay. As, yeah, as long sense. as the lead truck knows where it's going. Yeah. So they, everybody should know. Everybody, everybody got the map. Yeah. And it'll be in the, it'll be in the scoop, I think. Yes, yes. yes. Joyce, you saw physical copies. Yes, yes, yes. That's on. We might lose way. a couple in West Whateley with the tractor trailers, but I, I, don't know, I, don't, <laughs> I haven't figured out how they're doing that yet. But why? Well, do it, but 
they can either turn around on Williamsburg Road or they'll just come up Westbrook Road and go right to Masterson Road and wait for us. You don't think they could maneuver some of those curves? Uh, 60-foot trailer coming from Weber Road onto Conway Road might be a tough. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to hold up the parade. Yeah, that would not be good. Well, if there's anything that you need, reach out. You know that we're happy to help. Yeah, somebody could go Monday night and talk to the select board in their first 20 minutes of presentation that I got a personal request to be at, so. <laughs> the public comment is available at every meeting and it's near the beginning. Oh, I, I know that, Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reminding you because- I'm, I'm, like not, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to present at the- No, you don't have to present anything. Okay. Yeah. I, I think maybe we'll we'll watch the parade. Oh yeah, I think mostly someone will report on how great a success it was um, and how there were, you know, 75 vehicles or you know, just a few like a sentence or two kind of summarizing the parade. Okay. That's all. Perfect. And before we have the parade, John, I want to thank you for pulling this off on such relatively short notice. And this Did was I, not a lot yeah. of time to pull this together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We, we really appreciate it. And it's making the, you know, it's making this year special and making an impact at a time when we didn't know that we could. Right. So we appreciate that tremendously. Thank you. Any other business? Okay, our next meeting is Monday, May 10th at 7 p.m. If that, unless somebody's got a good reason that it can't be. Mm -hmm. Good, okay. Well, thank you everyone and enjoy the parade. When did you say the next meeting? Monday, May 10th. When did you say the next? Yeah, it's Monday, May 10th May. at seven. <laughs> Thank you again, Brenda, for stepping in and doing this. Good night. Good night. Take care, everybody. You're welcome. Good night.